What's that your grandfather used to do? That story about the mailman? Oh, good gosh. I don't tell that. He came to me with the paper and he named somebody that we all knew, the postmaster in the little town, you know, Cold Camp. Everybody knew Oscar Connor because that's the postmaster. And uh, he said, well, I see some news from home this morning. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I must have been nine years old. Oscar Connor was indicted. And they think he's going to get five years in prison. What did he do, Grandpa? He was white whitewashing rat manure and selling it for rice. <laughs> you know, all that stuff. Well, sure, me and his little crippled up grandson there, he made us all that. Sorry, what did your daddy do? What did my daddy do? His father was a miner, and he got accidentally shot through the neck. It was uh, in a line of fire around a company store. Laid him out of work. My dad had to quit school at 14, went trapping in the coal mines. 65 cents a day, and he had to keep family up. When Grandpa got back to work, my daddy went back to school, and he became a motorman inside of the mine, just running a train, like a train under there. About 19 and 16 or 17, he put me in Johns Hopkins. I had rheumatism for $3 a day. Today, you can't get in there for $100 a day. His wages were two and a half dollars a day. He had little money in the bank. He went broke. I stayed in there 24 months. And, Tell me and, about the little circus wagon. And uh, I used my stationery up then, drawing a circus wagon on each sheet of a different thing, animals and the band and everything. And then I would paste them together. And I had a string as long as me across that street. Over. You unrolled it and look at them little old circus wagons and stuff. That just come up my blood because I had a, an uncle that was in that business. And I, I had to follow him into it. How long have you been on this block, Mr. Hartman? Right here, 30 years. Do you, you own this store here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's it like having a tattoo artist next door? I wish I had two of them like Stoney. Good neighbor, good businessman, a heck of a good fella. One of the best. If I had one next, I'd get maybe more business, because a lot of his customers, believe it or not, that get tattoos come in here and buy vacuum cleaners and sewing machines. You'd be surprised who comes in there and get tattoos. There are a lot of nurses, doctors, lawyers, churchmen, clergymen. Oh, really? You'd be surprised. Some of the people that come in there, most people are of the opinion a person that comes in and gets a tattoo, rides a motorcycle, and uh, is a drunken sailor, and this isn't true. As a matter of fact, I used to think that myself years ago.